We are here. Yes, thank you for turning in to the Simple Man Podcast. And today we have a special guest, one of the gods of jiu-jitsu, one of the young... Uh, all right, phenoms. <laughs> <laughs> one, of <the> young, <laughs> one, one of the young phenoms. Yes. He is Gordon Ryan's little brother. <laughs> yes. Nikki Ryan. Nicholas. One Ronald. of our closest friends. One of our closest friends. Yes. Nikki, how old are you? Me, I'm 21. Turned 22 in June. Okay. And, and who is your favorite person in this room? <laughs> it's me. Probably, probably Nicky Rod. This fucking, fucking bitch. Fucking I can literally only be around Damien and Ethan for so long before I start going crazy. <laughs> it's because our level of humor is so sophisticatedly high, <laughs> <laughs> above the clouds in the stratosphere. And that Nikki's Nikki's brain is small, so, so small <laughs> and low and tethered to the ground via a heavy chain, so it can't. It can't wander above the clouds where me and Damien roam, so <laughs> he has problems. He gets angry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. Oh, yeah. Anyway, no. So, uh, yeah, me and Damien get out of hand sometimes, and uh, we apologize for that. Nikki. But thank you for your time. <laughs> All right, good entry. What were we talking about before, though? We're talking about nutting fast, 90 miles an hour. Wait. Oh, what is this? That is, is that the speed? No, there's what a speed. The sp you guys ever had uh, sex, <laughs> sex in school? Like in, in high school or middle school? No, or no. I wish I had sex in my You dropped out? Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> didn't get a chance to. Yes. No, I dropped out. You dropped out. He was yeah. going to. No, I, I've had sex in my school, but not like during school because I went to an all boys. Was like a. Whoa. <laughs> you fucked it. You fucked it. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yo, I, bro, I, you want to set a record with me? So you have sex with one of the students at an all boys school? No, no, no. It was like my girlfriend <laughs> at like a dance. Like after uh, we sneak away, like yeah, yeah. Went in the bathroom, locker room. Uh, no football locker room. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah. Were there football men there watching? It was during the game. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> no, no, yeah. It's, uh, like fucking. Wait, what? Ninety miles an hour? Oh, dude, that's the. Sp uh, is, there's a speed at which semen. So what if you're driving ninety and you nut backwards? Does the semen just, just stay? <laughs> just it travels with it's you. It's like you ever see zero yeah, gravity like, plane? Yeah, yeah. It's the same yeah. shit. Just. Whoosh. So I guess yeah. if you nut at the back window or something, it'll just go straight down. Okay. And if you nut behind you, it'll give you a, propel you forward that's faster. That's true. Wow. So right, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> you guys uh, break or craziest place you guys orbit. banged? Oh. Or had sexual interactions? Um, <laughs> Spanish class. <laughs> Spanish class, eighth grade. A graveyard. Whoa. Go. Whoa. <laughs> no, you go. <laughs> Whoa. I used to. I used to get like. Like eighth grade, I used to get like almost daily hand jobs in eighth grade. As that's by that's this chick, this, this girl that would Name sit her. next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Name call out Shut that up. whore, call out that fucking. She's a nice lady. <laughs> she has um, kids now. Mother is a saint. Married? Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> So a daily hand jobs in eighth grade. Bro, yeah, she she would just our desk would be, I'd be in the back of the left of the class. Her desk would be right next to mine, and she just just I just found her reaching over and get a few a few times a week, give me a a dry handy on top of the pants. In and Spanish I was, class, that, where in you Spanish would class, nut, where you would nut. Yeah, I, I, wow. you had this little hand touch your wiener. You're gonna nut. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, so you're dude! I'm like despacito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much the period before Spanish class, I was rock hard because I was like, I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> 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 it's like, it's like half loves dog. Like now, whenever you hear Spanish, he's like, mm -hmm, so, yeah, so, yeah. Jerk me off. Wait, so a graveyard? No. Let's <laughs> Nikki, you go. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't on this. <laughs> well, we can always. Cut it out if it's too crazy. Or you don't no, remember. Well, I, I mean, said, where's I the crazy? I can say it, but it's going to get cut out. <laughs> yeah. We won't touch up on that then. Do I, not, do I know this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, I'll oh, say it, but wow. this doesn't go in. We cut whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so when cut. I was, yeah. So when I was uh, 14. Put it in, Jim. Put it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah. I've never heard this. <laughs> what? You didn't know this? No. All right, yeah. we can bleep it From out who? and then like uh, keep our reactions. Yeah. yeah. From who? All right, youngest. Well, age when you guys oh. lost the old virgin virginity card. No, uh, I lost it. Uh, Two years old. Four, Fourteen years old. I was uh, freshman 14. in high school. Bro, no lie, I got. In, in like <laughs> it's gonna be another fucked up <laughs> dude hand jobs don't this count this has happened to me so many times like throughout my life but um no line like ki pr like kindergarten what's the grade before first grade preschool oh kindergarten Pre those guys so kindergarten or, or first we, grade different in montreal you, get, you just learn to walk it's probably like 
six. Five You're like six. five, six years old. Yeah. Okay. So we had this co-ed bathroom. It was, this is when I lived in Philadelphia. We had this co-ed bathroom and we had this, when I would go to the bathroom, this like, just my fucking classmate came in and, and she must've been around. Like now that I think about it, it's kind of weird that she knew like what to do, but I took a leak and I turned around and she just like pulled my pound down and started sucking me off. And we're like five, six years old. Bullshit. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. And when I got older, I was thinking about it. I was like, how the fuck would she know? Like, I had no idea what anything was at five, six oh years old. Oh, my goodness. Right? She must have had a she tough life growing up. She going down a dark path. I would say so. She, yeah, yeah. Oof. Yeah. What's her name? I, I don't know. <laughs> we're, five, we're, we're five or six. I, I barely know her name. I remember. Yeah. But, wow, that's crazy. I mean, that's not like you didn't. I did, did anything. I don't think I. I mean, I didn't nut. I don't <clears> think so. I mean, but I was like, I remember thinking like, oh, that was wow. cool. I we almost do that wow. I don't know if That's we should crazy. even speak about this. This is unholy. <laughs> it is unholy for That's sure. Quite, she needs quite to be dark. cleansed. Oh yeah. I mean, you. <laughs> all right. I'm Jesus not even Christ! This is a five year old <laughs> we're talking about. Well, yeah. he was also uh, five. He was also I was five. also five. Yeah. Need some context. Holy shit! Coffee. Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I got weird. Welcome to the simple. <laughs> no, it's podcast. okay. It's okay. It's it's. This is what it's for. <laughs> 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 it's just a therapy session, really. Yeah, you gotta let it out. You gotta this fix. is what it's for. This is what this is for. Well, oh. probably, definitely not. But hey, if you want to sponsor, <laughs> 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 we're accepting uh, anything. Yeah, Simple Man Podcast. Yes. If you're looking to sponsor us, DM Simple Man Pod at gmail dot com or yeah, or uh, DM track us. down Nicky Rod in the bathroom. And <laughs> <laughs> then the back of Spanish class come through. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's it. Just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors, Massive Supplements and Violent Hippie. Use code SIMPLEMAN, all caps, for 15% off both of those companies. Massive Supplements, trademarked Smashing Greens, Smashing Reds, very nutrient-dense foods. I personally use their creatine and BCAs during my workout and sometimes even before the workout. For Violent Hippie, they have soaps, USDA, CBD oils, t-shirts, rash guards, you name it, owned by... Former Navy SEAL Mitch Aguiar, you simple man, to get 15% off. Guys, Violent Hippie, massive supplements, get the smashing greens, smashing reds, all the vitamins, nutrients you need to get that body that you want. Natty Rod style. What's going on, guys? Make sure to check out Emerald City Invitational, April 29th, only on Flow Grappling. You heard that exclusively on Flow Grappling. You guys want to see some arms getting broken, some dudes getting choked out? Emerald City Invitational, April 29th. All right, Nikki. Um, so, how the fuck did you start jujitsu? Yeah. So, uh, both me and my brother, when we were younger, we uh, would go into this daycare center, and this guy who's never actually done any jujitsu in his life uh, would just watch UFCs, and he'd see some dude hit like a triangle from close guard, and then he'd come in and he would make all the kids at this fucking preschool drill the moves that he would see people hit on uh, on the UFC. And then eventually it escalated into doing full, like, no time limit matches on a concrete floor. Um, dude, I was. Club. Yes, yeah. yeah. Bro, I got the back of my head just split wide open once. Some kid, I was going with, like, a kid that was older and bigger than me. And he just hits an Osoto Gary and just fucking wrecks the back of my head into this concrete floor. Um, so that's what, like, got me and my brother interested in it. And then eventually later down the line, he's. Uh, Started going to a gym, and then a few years later, I joined. Wait, so you got your head split open. What the fuck happens after that? Uh, well, immediately after, the daycare teacher is like, all right, we need to come up with a story to tell the principal <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that I don't get fired. So we just, I don't know, we came up with some, like, bullshit story. Um, I didn't need stitches. Like, it wasn't, wasn't that bad, but mm -hmm. definitely there was some blood for sure. You went to the hospital or no? No, I didn't. Fuck yeah, like a man. Like All right, man. and look where you are today. Yes. There you go. All that's, thanks to so the that's where, teacher. That's where, that's where the small brain began. Yeah. <laughs> he got smashed in the head. What was that guy's school. name? I remember. Anthony. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony. Anthony Mendoza. Yes. Mendoza, yeah. We played Anthony some Mendoza. Fortnite with him one day. Yes. And that, that's, how, that's how I was introduced to him. I think I met him once, but I couldn't tell you. But yeah, he has a brother too, right? Yeah, Two John. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Those are like your family friends, right? You guys. Yeah, yeah. Still, keep still, in touch? still pretty close. Yeah. That's crazy. Imagine you show this preschooler, or two preschoolers, or you know brothers, yeah, Gordon and Nikki. Yeah, Gordon and Nikki, jujitsu. They're children. And then they turn it. They're <laughs> children. And then, yeah. 
Gordon like, is the guy's know, like oh, number one. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. You guys should give him some fucking yeah, royalties. You owe him some money. Something. Royalties. <laughs> What's yeah. this uh, McDonald's or something? No royalties. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What's your story? How did you get started? Uh, how did you get started wrestling? Hand jobs, yeah. for yeah, sure. Well, something to do yeah, with hand jobs. Yeah, this guy hand jobs. I was <laughs> five years old getting my dick sucked. Motivation is hand jobs when he was a kid. Good old handies. How did yeah. you start wrestling? Let's go. Let's yeah. Go. So, uh, how did I start wrestling? My, uh, so I tried. I tried a bunch of. Yeah, on, I tried a bunch of sports when uh, I when I was growing up. Any good at them? <coughs> yeah, great at great at all of them. It was really hard to pick. You're actually good at all of these. No, you know, so you don't seem I like honestly a have to me. my hand-eye coordination is like my enemy. You That's know? what it seems. Like yeah, your enemy. Yeah, like ball. You would say you're not coordinated. Hand, hand eye? eye, like catching like if balls, I'm, shooting balls. Yeah, I mean now, now balls. I'm, <laughs> hey, uh, now I'm much better. Like I think I like, catch and stuff. But like growing up, hand eye coordination wasn't the, wasn't the best. <laughs> <Goofy>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fairly yeah, <laughs> fairly similar. But growing up, uh, one of my closest friends growing up, his uh, dad was a wrestling coach, and uh, that's kind of what uh, where I got convinced that to uh, do some wrestling. I saw them first wrestling in like tights and singlets, and I was like, "Yeah, this isn't for me." But then eventually, I went to practice, and I was like, "Yeah, this is mm. this is where I need to be." How old are you? I was about twelve. Twelve years old. Social security number. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> seven seven. No no seven, no no seven, no. Seven, seven, no. Oh, okay. Right. Seven seven. Are you actually? Cut the feed. One two three eight nine ten. Cut the feed. All right. Cut the feed. Interesting. Interesting. You guys have comps coming up. Cops. Uh, maybe. Cops. Maybe in May. Cops. Potentially in May. Potentially W and O in May against. Uh, I don't know yet. Yeah, you do. Might be like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll give you three potential. Uh, f- yeah, it might be. It might be Marigali. Nothing. Nothing signed yet though. But you know, that'd be sick. You have a really good style against Marigali. Gonna be a banger. You think you fuck banger. him up? I would not be satisfied with anything less than a submission. Excellente. Are you going to be satisfied uh, if you go against if you compete him? I would not him? be satisfied with anything less than a submission. But and you're going to be satisfied when you I'm trying to get a clip. You try to you're going to be satisfied competing <laughs> against Mergali? Yeah, I would not be satisfied <laughs> <laughs> with anything That's less than the <laughs> 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 submit again. Uh, Nikki, uh, you got a competition coming up? Uh, right now I'm trying to book a match for June on uh, WNO. Um Talking about getting uh, Davi Ramos for that one. Ooh, Ooh Davi, I Ramos. like that. Yeah. That's a explosive. Big boy. He is. He is a big that's, boy. That's good style. Good style. Who else did they? Who else have they, have they asked? Me. For you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Potential matchups. Well, I, was, I asked for uh, Majid, um, but he just had a match against JT, so that one got turned down. And then uh, I also asked for Alan Sanchez, but that was also a, a no. On, I don't know if Alan said no or if it was just Flo that mm. said no. Yeah, trying to get a warm up before uh, the bigger guys, right? Because you, I mean, dude, you have a fucking tough division. You got Mika, Dante, who else? Ritolo. Oh my god! Ritolo's, well, yeah. that's in one though. Would you ever they're, go to one? They're in think? one. They're in one. Uh, Are they exclusive? No, you think? Think, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'd ever sign with one. Never. Fifty. G's Bro, I had a, I had a good show. Fifty to win. I mean, if the money's right, then... <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah, they're it's doing such a, here now. Right? It's such a long flight. But no, dude, they're, they're well, doing they're in, they're in the now. U.S. now. Yeah. I, in my contract, it have to be like you're only going to compete in the U.S. I would not want to go to Singapore. They, even they for did 100K. one in the U.S. Right? Even for a hundred k, it's not worth it. You pay, fly like, around. You pay. You pay half in taxes. Go, that's fifty k. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Half in taxes. Well, bro. you and you probably you pay. Should pay the taxes. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, I de- Oh, I, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uncle oh, Sam, my guy. Oof. A lot of but, taxes. Eh? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's ins- I think it's worth it still. But, you have a uh, competition coming up. Uh, I'm gonna try and get on that same W and O, but I don't know. Nothing's. They really messaged you yet. Yeah, they were talking about the one in May, and then I don't. These really... motherfuckers, bro. Nikki, like you ever go to like church or anything? Nah. No, nothing? I've never, no, yeah, never been. You believe in God? Religious. Uh, no, I don't. What Maybe do you believe that's happens? Why you don't have an ACL. Yes. Yeah, look at you, crumbling away. <laughs> what happens when we die? Hmm? I know? do believe we, I believe there is an afterlife. There's something after this. 
What is your? What do you think happens when you die? Just think it ends. Blackness. Yes. I agree. I think it's like when you before you were born. You don't. I think. It? I think we're kind there's of. Tr- or, or, well, I think we don't remember it because we're in this life, though. Do you think there's a there's some like spirit that cool. is uh, in control of your body, Dude, in control of your mind, heart, there, and stuff like that? There's I don't something. think so. No. You think we're just beings, just having to be smart, and there's nothing like running <laughs> this body? No. I don't really? Think so, yeah. They, I Damn. believe there is something that. Like there's a there's a reason why we are the way we are the life that we the life that we live the lesson that we've learned like there's this is for something it, just, it makes sense to me I think what do you think the purpose of life like the meaning of life your life or anyone's life out there that is alive today what's their what's the meaning the meaning of yeah. life man I guess that's 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 a fucking that's the age old question that's it's just every to, to procreate to pass on your your stuff. To create copies of yourself and to not be destroyed. No, they're not copies. They're not copies of yourself. Yeah, your kids are copies of the information inside. Yeah, you. but it's it. with another uh, person, so it's not actually a copy of yourself. It's, it's a combined copy. Yeah, it's a it's mixture like of a, the XY genes. Yeah, it's a rev share. Yeah, well, XY genes, XY chromosomes. XY chromosomes. <laughs> for, uh, Fuck. <laughs> I was trying to give some good input. <laughs> <laughs> it's written on the notebook. There. <laughs> it's in, like, <laughs> backwards <laughs> writing. <laughs> genes, J-E-A-N-S. Yeah. <laughs> Tug. Um, Tug. What do you yeah. say? Tug. Tug. Oh, Tug. that was the tell funniest. Us the story? Oh <laughs> my god, it's on YouTube, but it's still good. Right, so guys, good. get ready for a fake story. <laughs> <laughs> <Another> Completely <laughs> false. What the fuck happened? Yeah, so, I love uh, how can, can, can you get a little, okay, yeah. a little closer? Yeah, yeah. 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 <clears throat> you pull it as you wish. Yeah, yank on it. So uh, we're in the staff room. <laughs> we're in the staff room at B Team, and we're trying to come up with like new content ideas. And one of the ideas was to have a tug of war with Nicky Rod versus three like 155 pounders. So uh, we tell Nicky Rod to like write down some of the ideas on the board, <laughs> right? So he goes to write it down, and we see him like standing in front of it. He like turns around but tries to stay in front of the whiteboard to <laughs> secretly grab and his I'm, phone. I'm watching. And this. Ethan's watching this, so he's like trying to cover it up as he's reaching like, for his phone. Why is he like doing that? You were just moving so. <laughs> <long>. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do? Like you're holding the marker and like reaching, <laughs> yeah, like drenched in sweat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, go go yeah, keep yeah. going keep so, going. So uh, so he reaches for his phone to, so he can Google how to spell tug. <laughs> Three then, letter word. Yeah, and then he fucks up and he like moves a little bit to the side and Ethan sees it and he, <laughs> Ethan I'm just like, goes. Ethan just says his his name, and Nicky Rod's like, no, no, yeah. <laughs> and starts yelling. I see, yeah. I see you reaching for your phone, and you're like all perplexed. I'm like, wait, 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 what? Like, I'm like, yo, Nicky Rod. And he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, oh, man, oh man. God, and then I, I erased it and I rewrote it. Dude, I, almost, I almost got away it. with it. I almost got away with <laughs> it. It wasn't I mean, for you. Kids. Yeah, that's it. So uh, you think you take three 155ers? Oh, I don't even spell men or, three men or women. Uh, men. <laughs> it's like it's easy. Yeah. I, I think, don't think you I do, think I could honest. do. I think it'd be fairly hard. No, I th- I don't think you do. I'm, like you, me. We had like another. All right, we got one athletes. Athletes. Give me one. Fi- give, wait, give me one. <laughs> 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 You're getting random people. Give me like <laughs> where, cancer patients. We were getting. <laughs> We were getting them from the gym, no? Yeah, give me like a 155 homeless person and I'll, I'll get it done. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys how it's They're done. They're pretty strong. I don't know, actually. Dude, give them some PCP. Some of them are pretty scrappy. I'll yeah. give them PCP to lose. Dude, okay, take this one out. crackhead that's 155 pounds on yeah. PCP <laughs> would be. Bro, they're pretty wiry, man. <laughs> I hear that. They'll like g- dig their fingers through the mats. <laughs> oh, my God. I think <laughs> if I wear some wrestling shoes. One. Anthony right. Smith fought. Uh, a dude on oh, PCP, yeah, like yeah, a 17 yeah. year old kid on PCP or something like that. I don't know if he's. Oh yeah, he broke into his house. Right? Yeah, yeah, and then Anthony was like, "Dude, this was the hardest guy I've ever fought," and I was, I don't know, I feel like you just strangle him. Like, I mean, yeah, he's fought John Jones, right? I don't know if that's the hardest. Like, he's ever, <laughs> like come on, fair enough. You're gonna enough. rank the guy, the, the kid above Jones? <laughs> oh, Anderson Silva just got uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. I don't know if it was like yeah. today. That's well deserved. Yeah, yeah. Anderson Silver. Silver. Oh yes. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are we holding yeah, up for? Yeah, I think if the three 155ers... I think you're get, fucked. ...get Sal... Me? One, me? Sal is 175. Okay, Roman. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Me, you, yeah. Roman. All right, I think fucked. I could be I three 155 women's. No. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Well, that's... that's wait, okay. you, you don't think he can? 
No, I, 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 yeah, I think. You Actually, can. I think you can. I think you can. Well, am I being sexist? I don't. Know. One fifty-five. No, with quality, man. They're the same. They're identical, head to toe. Yeah. What does it matter if they're yeah. men or women? They're yeah. one fifty-five pounds. Plus, they can jerk you off. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> yeah. You get in, one in, of them jerk in, you in off the at lightning grade. speed. Um, you know, I'm thinking like. If I have to just pull them across a certain line, maybe I just run back and I start pushing them across the line. You know, like that sounds like, like a war. What do you mean? So let's it's, talk, let's it's a psychological push, a war. war. Hold on. <laughs> so uh, let, let's go lighter then. Okay, you think Frankie Robin? Um, you know, Black Robin wears the socks. Yep. And uh, what, who's another? So, uh, Sean Layfield. Do you think you take those three? I think. I think. I think yeah, I think they're a bit smaller. Yeah. yeah, I think I could do that. What do you think? Tug of war. Pulling, yeah. I think you. you I think you it's just, a, more. Yeah, I honestly yeah. think who are the us three, three smoke you. R- yeah. Do you think uh, tug of war? I mean, yeah. 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 It's hard. For, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's so hard for Nick. You're be like, yeah. yeah, I would lose that <laughs> battle. <laughs> He's like, I had to give him my best effort. Drink. Yeah. Um, That's fair. Yeah, I but, think so. The the three, well, one thirty fivers ish. Yeah, the one thirty five. Frankie and uh, Robin. Robin, yeah. Robin's strong. Robin is insanely he's, he's strong. strong. For his I size. trained. Yeah. What is he weigh? What I don't, don't know, but I trained with him today for the first time in a while, and I so forgot Robin's how strong. strong. I was yeah. like, Jesus fucking Christ! What, what is it? You know what he weighs? Maybe like 140, 145. 45 or something. 145 around there. Strong. Nick Ortiz weight. is like the same thing. Is like uh, one forty five, but weight. strong. Yeah. 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 I think I think you can. Can bulldoze through that though. Yeah, I think two one fifty five is pretty pretty easy. I two is doable. Do that well. You think you don't think you could take this fucker? Two of us. Two of us. We're one fifty fivers. I think we could. I know <laughs> you go down. One five five plus one five five. How much is that? Three hundred uh, pounds. Yeah, three ten. Around three hundred pounds. I mean, I could curl two fifty. Well, you and that's just arms. <laughs> doing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you did it. It's a new man. Yeah. New uh, bicep. You man. can curl 250. I mean, maybe 250 two pound dumbbells. Yeah. <laughs> like, he can yeah, curl them enough times. 150, 150, 150, 150. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think you guys would have a hard time actually being me and Tug of War together. Is that the challenge? That's a bet. We have to find someone you two? We both, both more sides even, more, believe they yeah, can yeah. win. You know? Yeah. We should do. We should do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, gen- I genuinely don't. I, 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 I thought I honestly, we were going to win combat jiu jitsu. I thought we were going to. I thought that too. I was. I had guy went in there with such confidence. Nikki, oh who God. do you think wins? Two, one, two of us, us two or Nikki Rod? Um, tug of war. Tug of war. I would probably pick you two. I think. Right, dude. Yeah. I, think so. I mean, on paper, it makes sense. Think you have. Fuck you. Have, you, fuck you. You have oh, twice yeah. the amount of legs that I have, twice the amount of arms. Yeah, that's twice the amount of friction. But I've, I've and been a strength. I've been an underdog my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it my whole life. I'm I used to adversity. Streets, three ten thousand dollar dirt bikes. I grew up in movie theater in my basement. <laughs> I grew up in these street. Oh, <laughs> hey yo, hey yo. I think this is that's better. Yeah, that way we we both both sides think they can. You think they can right, win. That's the challenge. That's the challenge. I'm challenge. down. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking drag you across the mat. <laughs> <laughs> the confidence. <laughs> we gotta. Uh, I genuinely don't know. I think we do. We on, on a pure physics standpoint, we have twice the amount of friction on the we mat. We have to work together. We really have to Pull. work together. Yeah, you guys Pull. need to work as one. As me, I am one. You are one. <laughs> I'm a step ahead. We are two. <laughs> we have more tools at our disposal. A s- disposable disposal. But yeah, I don't think. When uh, did you guys uh, meet Nikki Ryan? Oh wait, there's a technique oh, to it. But that's sorry. an excellent question. When did you guys meet Nikki Ryan? Here I met go. him. Uh, I was in college, actually. I was. In I the had football. Just... What in the football gym with that? Story yes, that yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Serve, serving water. Uh, no, no, no. Uh-huh. In the locker room. The locker room. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, right. So in college, I had joined the Rutgers Jiu Jitsu like club, and Gary was the head coach there. And then on like Wednesdays, Gordon and Nikki and maybe a couple other guys like Chris Saab uh, would come and train at the Rutgers Club. So that's how I initially met him, but I didn't really like know him. Then I joined the I joined Gary's gym, and then like fucking it's like Nikki's thirteen or fourteen, and I'm like a college kid. And then one night, Nikki's like, hey, Damien, you want to come over and smoke some weed? And I was like, fuck, sure. I was like, I was like, sure, let's go fucking hang Dude, out. My story is quite similar, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. All right, what go. Your, what was your, that's it. Okay, that's it. Okay, yeah, okay yeah. so 
Correct. I'm pretty sure the first time, like, we obviously met at Henzo's for sure, right? I think the first time I ever saw you was when I, we still lived in the Woodcrest house. Yeah. Uh, I came and over Taza there Taza. was staying at the house. Uh-huh. And then you visited with um, Mandel, Mandel and Eamon. Mandel and I think it was either Eamon or Louie. What? M- Mandel. Mandel. Yeah. Um, Where were they yeah. staying? Where were you guys staying? And they weren't staying at oh, my place, no. but they just like came by to see Taza. And I think that was the first time I ever met you. In New that Jersey? Was, yeah. yeah, I remember that. And it was really dark. And then the drive away from there, Mandel was like, why is it so dark in there? Why do they live like <laughs> vampires? <laughs> it's like, you could turn on the lights for fuck's sake. <laughs> that was, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, okay, so that was the first time I ever like saw you. And we're like, yo, what's up, what's up? Then uh, we started training in the gym, and I had at that point like completely stopped smoking weed. Like I was, I was smoking weed as a kid, like through high school and shit. And then I stopped because like, oh jujitsu, I'm gonna live like a monk. I'm not gonna smoke. <laughs> and then uh, I get to Henzo's. Not gonna jerk off. I'm not gonna jerk off. I'm not even gonna think. And then I get to Henzo's, and uh, I realize like, oh, they're all fucking pot smoking doobie heads out here. So I'm like, all right, I guess it's, if they're doing it, it's all right. And then Nikki goes to me, he's like, hey, you want to come over and smoke some weed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, yeah, sure. And then, uh, yeah, then I started going back to Jersey, and that was it. How I'm was lighting. the skill discrepancy um, uh, but when you guys started training? Was uh, it, were you guys always I the was same level? always so much better. <laughs> 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 a real, like, an avalanche. Uh, <laughs> no, we're, um, like, we're, like, the same. We're yeah, like the we same were, like, weight. pretty even, yeah. yeah like uh, we Actually, it was up. cool. We were, like, getting better at the same things at the same time. Oh, wow. Because like, we, yeah. we would always, everyone at Henzo's would be leg lockers, us included. We would always like, we'd outside heel look everyone or in, inverted everyone in competition. Sometimes I would triangle people in competition. Sometimes Nikki would get their back. But for the majority, from what I remember, we we're like leg lockers. Then everyone at Henzo started being leg lockers. So we started countering the their leg locks. We started being like counter leg lockers. And then uh-huh. so we got into guard passing. Then uh, Puerto Rico, I'd say we started wrestling more, I think. Uh, yeah, like probably like right before. Puerto Rico. Yeah, like, what, like in yeah. the COVID era. Yeah, like yeah Henzo's the pandemic or, era. Yeah. yeah, is when we really started to focus on yeah. wrestling. You guys started wrestling yeah. before me. I like I wrestled a little bit in like Puerto Rico. Like I would try to wrestle, but I honestly didn't feel like confident in my wrestling until I came to B team. I be still honest. don't feel confident. <laughs> <in my wrestling. laughs> to be honest, <laughs> like, I want to sit down. Yeah. No, <laughs> like I don't know. The, it was the camp leading up to. The West Coast Trials. That's when I was like, all right, I, I understand yeah. at least what's going on. I think I feel like MMA preparation will make you a better wrestler. I think. I mean, I, I feel so. like if Shoot. I was preparing for a, a fight, I would, I would be so much more inclined to not be on my back, like versus. Yes. You know, like for for the CJJ event. The, yeah, yeah. The one where we did better. We, I don't know. even remember that one. Actually. Anyway, yeah, that one. Uh, we were like the whole game was to get on top on of the top. guy you know yeah, so yeah, MMA position. is gonna be the same thing I just I actually just so, yeah. rewatched Aljamain Sterling versus Augusto Mendez Tankinho Aljamain Sterling they versus fought, when did they fight fought uh 2017 who won maybe. how'd that go uh Aljo beat him pretty decisively wow. uh took him down held him down Tankinho wow. did some good things this was 135 though. yeah wow Tankina did some good some good shit though off of his back. Like there was like an Uma Plata entry to end up in like uh, you know entering the legs. Yeah. But uh he did a funk. Like JB's funk to come up on a single. You know what I'm saying? Wait, t- Tankino did that. Tankino did that. Oh, so he like reversed it across. Him. Yeah, yeah, so he enters and then comes up like behind. So Aljo's facing in the opposite yeah, yeah, direction. Yeah. Then he comes up on a single, takes him down, and then actually Aljo's on bottom. Uh so there's nice. there's some good like grappling exchanges. I was like, oh shit. That's but uh, cool. yeah, Aljo cool. still won uh, the decision pretty decisively. Nikki, cool Nikki, was there a uh, a specific moment that you that you were like, "I'm done with school. I'm gonna just tra- chase jujitsu," and like, what the, what specifically that <clears throat> made you change your mind? Um. So yeah, so I dropped out. So I finished freshman year of high school, um, and then I was going to the city uh, during the summer when I didn't have school, um, and this is like right when. Um, Gordon, my brother, had started to, like, break out and, and make some decent money with it. Do um, <clears throat> you remember and, what comps around uh, that time? What comps were, was he doing? So uh, he mainly just, like, EBIs and stuff like that. Okay, so, okay. yeah. So, he's making decent money from EBIs and stuff. Um, so, that was <clears throat> something that helped me convince my parents to, like, let me drop out. Like, they saw he could actually make money with it. Um, that and then also, I mean, like, I, th- I believe I was either 14 or 15. I forget. Um, when I placed at Trials. 
uh, I placed third at both East Coast and West Coast trials um, with like two years of training um, and still super young. So that was when I was like, all right, I like, I really want to pursue this. You were still in school when you did trials? No, I had, I, had, I had dropped out by then, yeah. Remember the plan was to have John homeschool? Oh uh, my yes. God. I remember, dude, I, I saw this window. plan start to unfold. I'm like, this is not <laughs> going to happen yes. at all. Yeah. Bro. yeah. So, so guys, the original yeah. plan when Nikki was like, yeah, I'm going to drop out of school. And then it was going to be that John Danaher was going to homeschool Nikki. And that just never happened. And then just training I, multiple yeah. sessions a day happened. Yeah, my uh, my mom was like, "Listen, I'll let you drop out, but you're gonna have John uh, homeschooling. You're gonna you're gonna get your GED." So I was like, "All right." And then just it yeah, never it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just completely went out the window. That's fine, man. Can you read? <laughs> Don't need. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? School's overrated. Do you guys think school's overrated? Or do you guys I think do. it depends the industry. I no, feel no, like I it could be it could be geared differently. Like, I, I feel like we should be learning. Like, like my school didn't have things like workshop or like business oh, program. Like, they I didn't think, teach us about taxes or nothing like I that. That would I think, be phenomenal. I think personal right? finance yes. is a huge one. Actually, I had that as, as an elective yeah. in high school, but there was no course on that. Like, I think, I think maybe like. Um, as yeah, soon as you can like, good. as soon as you know what's going on, you should be you should be told how to do the things you need to do to be an adult, like, in, like tax society, yeah. some basic understanding of I agree property and just I don't know, whatever. No, anyway. I, I definitely agree with that. But what did you, you just write? What did you just write? What do we got? <laughs> Nikki almost died. <laughs> Nikki almost died. Uh, well, that was a to quote a memory of I um, heard a rumor that Nikki Nikki was like somebody tried to kill you. When you were younger. Oh, yes. 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 I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Do, I know, do I know this? Uh, I don't know. You might know. So, um, what is this? When uh, me and my brother were super young, I was so young that like I don't even remember this happening. But um, so my uh, my dad had like pretty much built his mom a house, right? And they were like uh, living with them. So <clears throat> they eventually had like a falling out, and my parents decided that we needed to, to leave the house and go, you know, find our own place. Uh, so my grandparents, uh, cause like they needed some time to like be able to get some money together to actually, you know, be able to afford a place. And my grandparents wanted us just out of the house. So <clears throat> my, uh, my grandma would just start throwing these like mothballs, like hundreds and hundreds of mothballs, like all around the house and ended up getting me Why? and my brother Why? super sick just to try and like force us out of the house. Like pretty much almost like poisoning me and Gordon, uh, in order to to convince my parents to just leave like right away, um, <laughs> Nikki's like eating yeah. them. <laughs> and I got to the point where like uh, we would go to like uh, daycare center, and uh, the teachers would like call my parents, and be like, "Hey, like their food smells like mothballs. Like we're not gonna let them eat this. Like they're gonna get sick from it." Um, and then so yeah, crazy. eventually yeah, we just got out of there. Are your grandparents still alive? <sighs> they stopped talking to them. I believe wow. my dad's father. Uh, actually, I think they're both dead now. I think a few years back, I remember Wait, on your mother's side or no, my, my dad's side. Oh, on your dad's. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Uh, my mom's parents were super nice, but yeah, dad's mm. parents were were not the best. They also passed. You have any grandparents alive? No, no, not anymore. Mm. Mm. Holy shit! Nikki's part Asian. I am. Oh yes. yeah, yeah. You're part I, Asian. I am. You know Japanese. what? You know Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Oh. My grandfather, if you saw a photo oh. of him, looks oh. like full Asian. <laughs> He's fifty oh, really? percent, yeah. Fifty percent, but he looks like full Asian, yeah. Damn, that's what's up. Damn, you guys are fucking <laughs> racist. This is why I can't spend more than like two hours with them. <laughs> <laughs> we just went on a brilliant yeah. tangent. Here. Like, I don't understand the high level because Nikki Rod said you're Japanese. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh, very nice. Mitsubishi. I'm allowed to make these jokes. Damien is also Asian. I have. <laughs> Two, two Asian friends. I am allowed. <laughs> the Black Lennox, now this. Black Lennox, yeah, I'm on a rocket. You're on fire. Dude, that was a good clip. That was funny. That, that was, was crazy. Funny. Yeah, yeah, I was sweating a bit, but uh, it's a real uh, thing. Ethan did not want us to post that. I did. I was like, people are going to think I'm a Nazi. <laughs> opposite. Opposite? Opposite. Nice guy. I, exactly. <laughs> I am the opposite. It was mm. funny. Wow, so your parents yeah. really tried to fucking... Oh, Grand grandparents. 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 Fuck, that's that's crazy. Crazy. So it runs in the family, huh? <laughs> 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 there must have been... They have, must have been like a... I mean, 
obviously maybe a bit of spiteful spiteful people well, were they like schizophrenic or something like that Dude, um have to be. I mean, maybe, yeah. Like I said, I was so young, I literally don't even remember what they look like. Yeah. We had a... Uh, That's crazy. We had a, yeah. a, fa- a family member kind of, like, uh, wish wish harm on me and my family one day. So, like... <laughs> what? <laughs> Did they curse you or something? <laughs> well, yeah, let me, let me talk about it. <laughs> we wish harm on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have, like, vo- one, yeah, voodoo. One hair. <laughs> All right. All right, so... Can I borrow some of your saliva to make a potion? <laughs> All right, continue. Yeah. continue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we have a uh, so my my mom's brother, right? Uh, he comes out of gets out of prison and is like staying with us for a little bit. And <laughs> you guys okay? Hold hold it in, hold it in. Oh, okay. All right. So he gets out of prison. He's staying with us for a little bit, and we had a, a bit of a, a falling out. And one day I go leave my house to go to school, and there's a dead chicken on my front lawn, like like decapitated, split in half. So, um. I, my uncle, my dad's mom was practicing like like some sangria shit. Or that was called sangria, something like something like that. Some or Santa Maria, right? Santa Maria, it's like yeah. a it's like a v- voodoo religion or whatever where they sa- they sacrifice. I don't Santeria. practice Santorina. I don't got no, no crystal ball. That's yeah. probably Santeria. Santeria. You, you you're probably wrong, but uh, you're probably wrong. I think there's something to that. Well, the, the <laughs> song <laughs> it makes sense. I got no crystal ball. Yeah, yeah. this well the song Santeria, but uh, I think there's a religion called like Sangria or something. Some of that. What the fuck is it? <laughs> Are you sure? Santa Maria, Sangria. I don't practice Santeria. Something. I got so, no crystal ball. Crystal yeah. ball. Yeah. Santa yeah. So so it's uh, some kind of religion like that. Santeria. But essentially, yeah, he uh, he like. Try to cast a spell on us, pretty much, with that dead chicken <laughs> out front. Your, this is the guy that came back from prison. Came back from prison, lived with us. Ha- they had falling out with like was my he parents. In prison for casting spells? <laughs> no, <laughs> like a wizard. Assault. <laughs> <laughs> He's like an evil wizard. <laughs> Catch him. No, Sorry, I think he. I think on, he uh, uh, worked for the cartel. Actually, he did quite wow. quite a, quite a bit of uh, of time behind bars. But yeah, they just had a uh, okay. But yeah, they just had a falling out and fucking dead chicken on my front lawn. Try to cast a spell. Yeah, on it's us. called Santeria. Sent. Bro, I was I wasn't that far off. Uh, you said I, you said sangria and Santa Ana. <laughs> if you ever put those together, there you go. Santeria. So I was right. Santeria. I, I don't, don't practice, practice Santeria. Santeria. I ain't got no so that was it. Ball. I was right. Yes. Santer- so I was wrong. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> we were both you right. You almost said I was wrong. <laughs> I, was and wrong. You corrected yourself. <laughs> I don't think he can say he it. Like, he can't. <laughs> <laughs> a smart fly. I was wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the gears like, no, no. Someone just stopped me from putting that word. I twitched He's like, I, I was, was wrong. All right. All right. <laughs> Are you ever tumble? wrong about anything, Nikki? Yeah. He's like leaving the team. <laughs> <laughs> He's like coming to this fucking podcast. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Well, look, B team's been up for what? Two years now? Two years. Almost. Almost two years. I think. Wow, over, it's been two years. Over two years. Has it? I think. I, I think. thought. I thought. When I we come here, June? Be... July? I feel remember. like it'll be. Maybe so I had. I had uh, the Dante match in half? July. Two years ago, I think. Wow, what? There you I go. didn't come to be So it'll be three over. years July. Three years? No, 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 no. Dude, you were in Puerto Rico. Three years, in three but years. it wasn't even open. That was when the Dante match happened. And then it was didn't oh, open okay. for a few months the after. Team just split? Yeah. <sighs> so I think, I don't know when we actually started accepting students because I was still in Florida. I'm maybe like December. I feel I like we should, talk about po- then, we should yeah. talk about Puerto Rico a little bit because it was. What There's a crazy, so much such a there. crazy yeah. time, right? It was like we there really there should first. be a movie. There should be a movie about it. Let, let's it's let's like, go to that. Okay, so we we got there at the same. No, I got there a little bit before you, right? In Puerto Rico? No, I you got, got there. The there I got there. First. Oh yeah, you and Gordon no, and Matt. No, no, just me. I you just, and Mo. Just me and Mo were out oh, there first. Yeah, I remember. And oh. then it, that it started getting bad right away. Yeah. I remember actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we'll stick to the good. You got there very, very at the very first, and then Gordon and that, and then me. I think so. And then we like li- Then yeah. we moved. Oh, then your dad was there. At some point. I forget. My dad probably came with Gordon and that. Probably came with Gordon and that, and then we moved into like this Airbnb on the beach. Where were something. you guys yeah, staying initially? We stayed at that. Remember that? Like yeah. So initially, I was at Mo's house, uh, and well, then... no, his apartment. Not oh apartment. yes, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Mo's house hadn't been fully built yet so yeah i was at mo's apartment and then he ended up renting an airbnb because more people like gordon and nat and stuff came yeah and my dad so we ended up staying there (laughs) but anyway shit so yeah they then we started 
going in that Airbnb, and then eventually we all moved into the house. You, me, Gordon, Nat, and your dad. Yes. Then you got. You I got came. There I came like late. a month, like a month yeah. later. Yeah. Around when John got there. Oh really? I, I didn't. I, John show up like a, a lot later. I, think, I, I think forget. So. I left. I think when John left. I was like the last one to, to come. He yeah, you were like one of the like, last ones, yeah. Like one to two weeks after I got there. Me? No, John. John. Oh, John. Oh, really? Probably oh, that's like two, not that. two weeks after, maybe. Wow, okay. Dude, I, it, it's a blur for me, to yeah. be honest. I remember yeah. that. I remember I'm getting anxiety fun. thinking about it. Really? For some reason, like the move, like it was so Fucking stressful for me, bro. Dude, we're going to another oh. country for you. We're going terrible. to another place. Terrible. Dude, I, yeah. lived, I lived in the same house, essentially, for like 23 years, and I have all this, all this shit in the house, yeah. I have to start clearing it out. Cause maybe it's good. Maybe bro, it was healthy. It's crazy. I mean, maybe fuck. you were would have been a hoarder. Dude, I moved so many times. You moved a lot. You moved like three like, times just in Puerto Rico alone, <clears throat> something like that. Yeah. So like, I was living at my mom's <laughs> house, and then she decided to move to Florida. So I moved in with my uh, my brother in Jersey. Then we moved to Puerto Rico. I was living, still living with Gordon. Then after that, me and Ethan got our own place. Um, then the guy sold that place. Yeah, the guy ended up selling that yeah. place, so we had to move again. And that was and near then, the end of. Well, that this the last move was pretty sweet. We the last up, one was pretty yeah. good. We ended up staying at at Mo's Mo's place. House. Yeah, oh, oh, that was like the best two months ever. I think. Besides yeah. the bike shoulder incident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, a bunch of kids in a mansion. It what do you so think? Fun. We yeah, got yelled at. Got in trouble. Yo, yeah, for reference, these guys are. Right, they're staying in, in Mo's house, and they have a bunch of like uh, high end electric dirt bikes. It was $10 million your house. idea. Now the, I was never... the one charging them for sure. Yeah. I, <laughs> you were like, "These are sick. Let's use them." <laughs> and I'm like, uh, "Okay." Uh. Yeah. So they're the, they're like little pit bikes, right? But they're motocross pit bikes. So they're, they're like, like 50cc, but they weigh nothing. Yeah. So they're so powerful. battery operated. So we get on these bikes, and we're just like essentially this million dollar like golf course, and we're riding dirt bikes across. You these. looked hilarious. Yeah. On your knees were like <laughs> up here. It's like Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we're in the Ritz Carlton riding dirt bikes around so it, and funny. around all these rich people, and they're like, "Please go go away. Yeah, like, get these cool away from us." You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Ethan. It was so shit. Funny. Explain oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So <laughs> it was actually me and Isaac. We I wake up one day at like nine AM. Me, Isaac, and Liam, my little brother, were staying at Mo's house. You had you're in Florida at this point. I think it was after the Dante match you hurt your knee. Yes, Florida. yeah, I was still in Florida. It's too bad you weren't there. You would have loved that. <laughs> <laughs> that story. <laughs> we had a ball. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I <clears throat> one morning it's like nine AM. I'm like, I need to go on this bike again. It's so much fun. You probably dreamed about it. I was. I actually was. I was literally in bed, like twitching about this. It's so it's so fun. There's you're a like, turn. There's a turn. You're like, <laughs> I was seeing my future. <laughs> so so I was there. I was biking around in this golf course with uh, Isaac, and he's right behind me. And I'm like coming up. It's like Mario Kart. It's so fun. You're on these little tiny bikes through a golf course, pristine. And uh, there are these hills, so they sometimes disguise, like, a turn. You don't know if it's, like, a sharp left or a soft left. Turned out to be a, a sharp left, and I thought it was a smooth right. So I'm, like, <laughs> smooth right, full throttle, baby. <laughs> Crank up the power. We fucking go full force. And I'm, like, too late. I see the, the hill. Like, I start to see around the hill. I'm, like, oh, it's a sharp left. Oh, no, 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 no. So in a split second, I have a choice to make. Either trees or rocks. I go rocks. I try and stop. Smart decision. I, I think I would have gotten like impaled if I hit a tree. Dude, <laughs> I trees you do not want to fuck with. So, okay. I'm glad I chose the better better one. So, I go rocks. My bike goes like, you know, all over the place. I ditch the bike and like kind of front flip over it. And I roll on my right shoulder. I don't get a scratch on me. You or Did you see? You didn't see me? I did, I did see you, but... No, one was... scratch. Like a little thing on my elbow, but that's it. But my shoulder, I still don't know what happened to it. I'm good now. Thank God. You know, I'm not like as bad as Jay is right now. But uh, yeah, I couldn't like do this for a couple months. And he was there. like trying to say that he was like sick or something. Didn't come to training or something. Did I and say then, that? Yeah, you yeah, didn't want to tell people. everybody. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, riding yeah, a little dirt bike. I'm like, I, I don't feel well. Leave me alone. And then, and then I... I was hoping so bad for it to just like go away <laughs> fast i like hid in my room for like half the day i'm like okay this is not going away i'm Your getting pow power I'm getting healing you toss a blanket on top <laughs> yeah, yeah i was like holding on my shit i'm like oh my uh, arm feels weird oh, i'm sick 
but uh, yeah, alas, remember, it was bad. I remember uh, yeah. coming over and like, cause like we would go and cook steaks or whatever. And I think Isaac oh, yeah, had told brought, me, he was, like, he was over, like, yeah. dude, I, uh, Ethan <laughs> Oh, shit and Isaac like saw me. Isaac was right behind <laughs> Isaac was like, mate, I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason anyone knows about this is because Isaac was a witness. I would have been like, I would have been like, oh, this guy on the golf cart, fucking this fucking sh- asshole this guy came out of <laughs> totally nowhere. not my fault. <laughs> totally not my stupidity. It was someone else, but yeah, Isaac, front row seats, <laughs> just go to rocks. Jesus, yeah. guys, if if um. You guys had to do it again. Would you do? Would you choose Puerto Rico again? Same thing. Like, like we know how it worked out. Would you still? I wouldn't the... have moved there. No, I would. I would like visit, but I would. Dude, not it was, things there, definitely like, happened for a reason. Lost like, if, so much. Maybe money if we shit, ended up man. going straight to Texas, oh, who knows yeah, the kind of predicament you know we would be in? So, dude, it yeah, was a you cool never know. Experience. Though. It was a really cool experience, but yeah, again, I mean, I, I would. Okay, so we'll, we'll all take turns answering this, but for me, like I. No, I would have fucking been so happy with just doing like three month visits and not moving all my shit there and going through all those moves. Like, what's all your shit though? Like, what? Like when I lived in Puerto Rico, I just just had like one suitcase. Oh, really? So you had a lot of stuff. I I had a lot of stuff. I it's not so much the stuff moving. It's the well, it is. It's the moving of your setup. Like I I moved, like your schedule. Like yeah, the routine gets routine. fucked up every time, and you have to get up and move, get up and move, get up and move, and it's expensive. Like we have to redo the whatever the rent in one place, and then the rent in Gordon's place, a little spicy, and then like the very end was great. The Mo's house was splendid. But anyway, what would you do? Would you do it all over again? No, I absolutely despise Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, so what would you do? A single thing. What, when we go back to the decision, and and John's like. Uh, uh, Nikki, Ryan, are you ready to? All move right, so to real quick, Puerto like, Rico? like the team is already gonna split up. There's nothing. Oh, you know that. Like everything. we, we yeah. know everything, but now it's either like you do the same thing in Puerto Rico or you go to Texas or something. Like, would you still have that chapter of your guys' life, or would, do you guys want to like exit out of your memory, essentially? Dude, there was a few. We that's had a, a, we had some good experiences. Dude, I had like it. It's something that well, I would never can, that's do a, again. That's, you remember playing tag on the beach? <laughs> Yeah, that was so fun. That was, yeah, yeah. You, I think you're a part of that as well. Play, play tag, yes. So do do you do it all over again? Continue. I, to I honestly think I do. As as like annoying as it was, it was, dude. It was still fun, man. We lived in Puerto Rico. I lived like 30 second drive from the beach. I, we would go train, yeah. go to the beach. It was fucking sick. It was snorkel. Sick. My, I my, would you definitely went snorkeling, <coughs> dude. Yeah, I go snorkel. Heck, I had you didn't snorkel. invite us. I had snorkels in my back in the in my truck. You just Remember? snorkel by yourself. You don't have a you don't want somebody to watch your back. Not friends. Remember Nick Ortiz and the the sea urchins? D- oh oh when he God. thought they were uh, did I not, did I not say this on, on Puerto? Uh, I didn't say this in a podcast. I totally I, thought I did. Please okay, please so tell me about it. we're fucking. Yeah. So uh, Nick Ortiz is from the city. Never really went to a beach, uh, but he has some goggles, and he's swimming around. Right, and then we're at the beach, and it's a You're bunch of us. You're all getting ready to go s- snorkeling. No, no, we're not going snorkeling. We're just at the beach to hang out, and oh. he's the only person with the goggles because I didn't get snorkels yet. We had okay. just so gotten to Puerto Rico. Him. Hey, yeah, exactly. I was like, I was like, uh, Yo, Nick, can you just check underwater really quick and check for sea urchins, like you know, because there's a bunch of us. And then he was like, Okay, yeah, yeah. Swims down real quick, like comes like, back yeah, up. He's sure. like, Oh, no problem, no sea urchins. And I'm like, Okay, great, great. <laughs> and then he swims by for maybe like five, ten more minutes. He's like, Hey, Damien, just be careful. There are these, there, there are like thousands of these black spiky balls. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Nick, what the fuck? Those are sea those urchins. Those are sea urchins. And he's like, Those are real? <laughs> and I was like, Yes, what do you mean? He's like, I thought you were t- saying, like, Nick, look for the Loch Ness monster. Yeah, yeah, he I thought know. you were fucking with him. Yeah, yeah, he thought I was just fuck with him. <laughs> he's looking for an octopus. <laughs> so when you when you said go and look for sea urchins, he's like, oh he's yeah, like, okay. Oh, he's like, okay. Well, oh no sea urchins. <laughs> exactly. Good one, bro. Anyway. Dude, oh, these spiky balls are here though. He's like, they're, just watch out! There's like thousands of these spiky balls. <laughs> they look spiky like it really balls. hurt. And then I uh, got out. Go ahead, you first. So, uh, a lot of people stepped on those sea urchins. I never stepped on a sea urchin yet. Thank how, God. How poisonous are they? They don't kill you or anything, but it yeah. hurts. It's like, just pain. It's, it's just, just pain. Yeah, like there's like I think like yeah, some if you put one on a stick, like, can you super hard to actually it? remove them too. Oh really? yeah, yeah, the like barbs are like backwards. Yeah, 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 backwards, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Backwards facing barbs, they'll get you. But you know they move. They can move. Yeah, a little slowly. Yeah, they have like, like I, I forget maybe like 
six or eight. They move using their tongue. <laughs> That's a lie. I made that up. No, no. So like they're all <laughs> spiky, but there's a couple that actually move like little stilts. But they usually wedge themselves in like little like uh, crevasses, rocks, crevasses, crevices. But yeah, what were you gonna ask? You uh, we, ask so in PR, we did some filming for uh, Flow Grappling, mm. and we go out to like um, you know the far part of the island, do some like walking around, beaching and whatnot. And as we, in order to get, yeah, you can smash it. So as we get a. Uh, we ha we're looking for this place called Suicide Beach, right? So we get we get to where we park at, and then we have to walk essentially through through like knee deep water to get to this other beach. So um, we're walking there, and amongst there, there's a bunch of coral, and it's all like this red pink coral. So some of the flow guys ended up getting cut, and it was like a a bit of a poison on there to where their oh. skin was like absolutely on fire oh. while they're walking. Yeah, anemones. So it scrapes them and and it's kind of like a poison. So just, their skin's just red and, and on fire. That's wow. Have gross. you guys ever been stung by a jellyfish? No. Uh, uh, yeah, jellyfish. I, I, it's yeah. brushed me before. I, I've yeah. been stung by a jellyfish. I was in it Cabo, sucks. Mexico. We pee on it. Um, we didn't do that, but <laughs> you, you should have. No, uh, yeah, we didn't. We didn't definitely. <laughs> do, 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 yeah, yeah. He does it on the regular. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I oh was yeah, like, for, for jellyfish. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah. I was like, I think I was like ten years old. I'm like swimming in the, in the ocean, and this fucking jellyfish wraps around my uh, my arm, and I just start screaming. I did not know what the fuck was going on, bro. I I thought. It was just danger in my head. I was screaming. I danger. thought I got bit by like a shark or some shit. I'm like swimming back. And like then a plastic just... bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. Dude, it, it hurt so bad. It wrapped all over my fucking hand and arm. Why don't you pee on it? Uh, we put lime juice or something? No, apparently that's bullshit for jellyfish stings, to be honest. Really? Somebody, somebody just made it yeah, up for fun. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, yeah, you piss on it. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Really? Uh, I thought I. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I'm not. I don't want to bet anymore. <laughs> Leave I'm your all phone. out of money to <laughs> bet. Imaginary confidence. Uh, my my dad spent a part of his childhood living in in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey, and he went to the beach one time, dove into a wave, and got stung in the face by a jellyfish. Oh, oh yeah. damn! Yeah, he said he just had to Ow. lay there for like you know an, an hour and change just until he could like open his eyes and walk. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That's rough. That's rough. What are you What are you looking up? I'm here? taking a look at Edwards. Someone and... commented, "You're always on your phone, and it's weird." All right, yeah, I did huh? see that comment, and the comment, dude, I look at the phone to get topics. I know. I like, so fuck you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking cocksucker. Someone else commented, "I carry this." Podcast. Yeah, and you were like, oh, "You're oh, like, oh, shit, bro, thank, thank you so much." <laughs> <laughs> that made me so happy. Oh. <laughs> then bro, thank you. <laughs> some guy, some guy goes, "Nah, it's all Jay." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh fuck." <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yo, no. Uh, so also, we have uh, we have merch like live. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Everything works. Yeah, Simple yeah. Simplemanpod.com. Check out our merch again. Simplemanpod.com. Yeah, we're gonna get it soon. We're gonna start rocking it on this. Yeah, thing. yeah. We have it coming in. We'll make some color. Yeah. Simplemanpod.com. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it so suspiciously? JG and Fizzy have our fighting. Oh, there's an eye poke. In the world of athletics. What you do immediately before and leading up to competition has direct correlation towards your success in competition. Pre-match ritual by Nikki Rod on BJJ Fanatics. <coughs> so Puerto Rico, would you do it again, dude? I had fun. I, mean, like, I had fun. I, spent, went, I lost. I lost quite a bit of money. It cost me like yeah. twenty thousand dollars <laughs> for a vehicle to get it shipped there by and whatnot. Um, it cost me quite a bit in like just living there was expensive. Like we go to get some steaks, it was twenty dollars a pound. <laughs> Hacienda like, was was a higher end. <laughs> what did you call it before? La Hacienda. La Hacienda. La Hacienda sounds good, but you said something the other day. Yeah, I forget. I forget, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So you would, you would do it again? Yeah, I would do it again, man. We had a. Uh, it's an I think, we, I think we had some interesting bonding experience, and not everybody gets to say they lived on an island for like a year. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Not like how many? That's that. I people would dream, dream that. I would do it differently. That. I would do it different. I would not move there. I would visit. <laughs> 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 I would do it differently. I just would not go. Ever. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would love watching it from Instagram <laughs> <laughs> and be like, whoa. It also sucks. It's a matter um, of time. Flying out of there, it's pretty bad. It's fly a out. pain in the ass. Yeah. Was yeah. it? Yeah, because you always—it's oh always God. connecting flight. Never, never, never. Yeah, I not like I, Austin where that there's a direct all flight the COVID up. restrictions too. The COVID, COVID restrictions, restrictions, yeah, but <laughs> it's okay. I, I still I didn't think care that much. It, it wasn't. Yeah, I didn't care that much. I just the way it <laughs> unfolded, it was expensive, and uh, 
I would I would visit, but I wouldn't like live there. I would just dude. Visit. It was awesome because also like I would I like my friends that would time. that work from home yeah. or whatever. They come fucking visit. They work from home while I'm training yeah, at the end. Yeah, like yeah. we fucking do shit, whatever. It was fun. It was fun. The, man. Uh, the, the complex you guys were into. You were all in the same place. Bro, it was like yeah, yeah me. Like me, Nikki, Frank Rosenthal, when Frankie was there, you know, we were in one apartment. Then uh, Gary and Yu Ting and whoever was there was in another apartment. Nikki Rod was in one apartment. Taza, the other guys were in that. Apartment. It's similar to being at college with all your friends. Instead yeah. of studying school, we're, st- we're studying jujitsu. Yeah, dude. You know, and then, bro, cool. we'd go to the cool, fucking yeah. hot tub. Like, I, I was in the hot tub like every night or every other night. I think at I night. never went in that hot tub. Dude, it's fucking great. It was like, like, uh, uh, there are turtles beautiful. in there sometimes, right? What? Am I wrong about that? <laughs> Someone told me that, and I never checked. I I've, just believed them. No, I'm like, oh, no, I've never seen turtles. It's a fucking hot no. tub. It's yeah, like, there's big frogs in, in PR. They have some frogs. Yeah. frogs. Hefty yeah. frogs. Pounders. Yeah, like toads. Toads, yeah. yeah they're like, toads. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, they ring the doorbell. Yeah. You know? <laughs> What's up? But uh, like, like, you see them, you walk around. <laughs> like, I don't want to fuck with you. But uh, yeah, man, I was in that hot tub or pool fucking like every night. Uting was in there doing laps almost every night. That wow. guy, like, laps just fucking 45 minutes straight almost. Like, I wonder what like, he's up to now. Yeah. He's I hear, are fighting, they're buoyant. Fighting, uh, fighting Gary still, huh? Asians are buoyant. Buoyant? <laughs> <laughs> Careful, there's two in here. <laughs> <laughs> Watch what you're saying. <laughs> uh, you're the minority, actually. Yeah. Well, actually, you're the minority. He's, he's Puerto Rican. We're all brown or colored. We're all colored. I'm Egyptian. Oh, colored. Oh fuck! There's no bitch white people. <laughs> towards Egyptian. the towards the end of Egyptian uh, and, and uh, Jew. <coughs> well, how do you know you're? Egy- why are you Egy- Egyptian? My and grandmother not Israel- and grandfather on my mom's side are Egyptian refugees. Egyptian refugees, yeah. as in, uh, wait, wait, wait. Are you wondering if you could be Jewish and Egyptian? No, no, no. Okay. I'm saying Jewish <laughs> from Israel or Jewish from Egypt. Well, originally from Egypt, and then and then Israel. My mom grew up in, in uh, Israel. My grandmother grew up in Egypt. So. But they were taken from Israel? They moved from Israel to Canada. Um, no, no, no. I'm saying... Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not that... The Jews, like, the my Jews grandmother were... isn't that old. We're the, <laughs> the Jews. Like the, the story. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we just yeah. got here. Bro. You were slaves. Finished building those pyramids and uh, <laughs> yeah, booked it onto uh, Canada. The Jews were the slaves. Yeah, we were. We were the work, apparently the according workforce. To, the but workforce. Uh, all right, so according to the Bible, right? Like, um, the Jews were slaves of Egypt, but then other uh, historians say that they don't even know if Egypt had slaves. I think I think we most like places had slaves. Back then. Yeah, slavery yeah, was yeah. almost not even called. Sl- it was just like who works, works for you. Work. Yeah, yeah. they're all like, why would I pay this person? Yeah, yeah. they're just. I'll like, kill you. You, <laughs> al- you allow them to live, and they do work, and you. That's a fair trade. Let them fair live trade. in the area. Yeah, I think slavery was just like a part of life back then. Now it's called slavery because you know we don't. It it, it, it was a part of life. That dude. Yeah. There's something I was talking about this uh, with someone. It's like um. People try to like cancel historical figures for having so basically like oh, for um, having slaves, slaves, yeah. or just things that, that were done in the past. But it's like it was a different time, it's different time. Like then. So yeah. it's like the people that like everyone had slaves. So it's like yeah, there's probably like a gray area where it's like everyone's like it's not okay anymore, and some people still had them, and they were like, well, you know, you imagine that when they come on, come on, <laughs> come on, this guy's my homie, come on. Even well, the, some of the slaves probably were like, it's fine, we're we have protection and. Oh, no. Yeah, Yo, I'm, I'm sure, sure they were fine. Yeah, they, they were happy with it. They <laughs> wanted to be there. I'm, I'm sure there's a time when where slavery just ended, and uh, and you know that one guy's like, "What? Are you sure about that? You know what I mean? Because like, how do, how do you announce that word, slavery word is ending? Spread slowly. Yeah, word well, spread slowly. I think Texas actually I was mean, the last state to um to like abolish slavery. I think that's the whole Juneteenth thing. June oh, that's 19th. what Juneteenth is? Yeah, yeah, June 19th, like, uh, in Texas. Because, like, um... Do you know what year? Texans are like, fine. Beats me. Wait, what? Beats me. Do you know year? what year? What year? Yeah. yeah. I'm Canadian. I don't know shit. <sighs> yeah, I should know. I should know a lot of things. History was never We should interview, my... like, a historian. We get, like, the UT. I'd be down. Somebody from University of Texas or something. Oh, that would be honestly be super... right here. He's a historical, Man, cultural knows. figure. Yes. Yeah, no, honestly, I don't know. For, for school... I would study, like for history, I would study the night before, memorize everything, and then literally forget it right after the test. Like that's how I got Man. through history um, and uh, actually mainly history. I feel like with what is available to us now, 
school would have been so much easier. You could get like AI to write essays for you now. Dude, you how know, unfair is you this? know what? So kids, I that, think if you're a good athlete, you should just need to show up to class, and that's it. I think that's what really. Matters. I agree. You know, um, so the kids that went to online school. Well, they went to online school, then they took classes online, but they took tests online, so they were all just cheating. Yeah. It's like... How, like and I would never cheat. Yeah. Because we're, you know, stand well, up moral people. St- human beings. You think you remember... Do you remember Do you remember any of the stuff that you studied for in high school? So there yes. are things, there are yeah. like random yes. facts that I will remember for no reason and have no idea that I even remember it until something unlocked that memory. Like, so like yeah. headshot bang. Headshot bang. Like, I knew I was right 100%. <laughs> so did I. Alas. <laughs> Alas. It was 99.9. What about Alas, you? Yeah. You remember stuff? Oh, not much. You? <laughs> you, you remember anything from high school? I remember a lot about from, people. From school? From school, yeah. Uh, no, not really. What is the highest wow. math you got to? 10. Trigonometry. <laughs> I, fucking, I honestly don't even remember. Whatever, oh, just what standard it, freshman year. Of high what school. is the highest level of math? Stephen oh Hawkins. no, it's like, like I don't even know, like string theory. It gets, it gets into like that shit, right? Game theory. Is there a hardest type of math? Like there's geometry. it probably goes all, like yeah. full circle geometry. back to just Drig- addition. G- geometry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> geometry. Geometry. Well, like it 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 goes into like theoretical like stuff, right? Like, what actually? Well, physics is just math. Is so the- theoretical stuff is just stuff that's not fact. Well, yeah. so basically, math. It's like a bunch of maybe. Well, math. Yeah, yeah. So we might be right. Go ahead. Math yeah. just the reason we come up with math. Here we go. It, it's no, I'm serious. The reason we come up with math is to describe like our universe. Like that's how we describe it's it. It's not our universe. So you count everything that happens. <laughs> there, his universe. Yeah. So you what? count. You just count everything that happens. Count everything that happens. <laughs> count everything. <laughs> One, two, two three. no. Like we count everything that happens. With, like why. Uh, the the planets fucking rotate around around the sun, like the speed of light, everything, all these. Th- the reason there's math and these higher levels of math are to describe those things that happen. So then, like, it becomes like theoretical because we can't actually, we don't see the things happen. But in theory, mathematically, it should work. And then that's why I think that's the high. I don't know where the fucking. We didn't. Were you went to school. No, I dropped out. I'm a college dropout. So what you're you to drop out? I make it, no, but it makes sense. Like okay. theoretical, that's what the, theoretical, like theoretical mathematics, mathematics or theoretical physics, technically, right? Because that's all. I think is. for me, uh, <laughs> the highest math is. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? I think for me, uh, one of the big takeaways from high school and college was uh, English class, like the five, like how to, how you structure an essay. Because honestly, when I've structured me, <laughs> English classes, <laughs> <your forte. laughs> listen, hear me out here. I all don't right. think so. I'm all ears. <laughs> Doug of Mr. War. Mr. <laughs> Doug of War. <laughs> oh fuck! I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because how I structure uh, and plan a, an instructional definitely, you know, like who, right. what, when, where, why um, helps. <laughs> he's like, he's like, who? Nicky Rod. <laughs> what? what? Nicky Rod. <laughs> Why? Nicky Rod. <laughs> uh, okay. I loved uh, anatomy, human anatomy, biology. Oh, bio, bio is good. Math was, was always my favorite, to be honest, though. That math, uh, I really enjoyed. Math. I liked geometry. Geometry. No, I actually did. I, I liked that as a subject, yeah, but I didn't geometry. like like other. I think it's like geometry. I, I worked a uh, freshman year. I worked a. Uh, lottery at a check cashing place when i was like 12 years old it was like my first job Sick. and um every day we'd have i'd have this lady in white hair right sh- short super short hair like a one jerk you off <laughs> no. I was gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. uh but she'd come in every single day by buy roughly a hundred dollars in in tickets right i would always <laughs> fuck like one or two tickets up she'd get pissed at me and and buy her numbers and mine just to make sure you didn't when yeah this Wait, yeah out of, spite? out of i don't know i think because she, she didn't want to miss out like oh fuck maybe he accidentally got it right oh she thinks you were doing that on purpose to steal the winning numbers no i don't think i don't think she was uh she realized that i'm just saying what she did she is almost every day i'd fuck like one or two up and she'd buy her tickets and the ones that i fucked up every day just to make sure she didn't lose because it was like a it's like a 
Oh, it was a, a chance a, thing. A, 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 it was like fate. Oh, this guy fucked up, but maybe exactly. Oh, but every I day, see. yeah. Okay. So obviously she's a she's an addict. You know what I mean? So yeah, she's a lottery man. Maybe but she she would now. she'd open the door and I know it's her because I would smell her hair. Right? Oh. She had white hair and she used like white out whiteness. In she hair. she she used like it. It literally looked like the white out that she would use to yeah. you know on, on like, some wow. documents in her hair. Super short black lady white. Pit white out on the hair. Wow, wow, wow. wow yeah, wow. Um, pitch white. The lottery say. man. Pitch white. Not for smart people. No, speak for yourself. I don't. I don't think I so. Bro, some money. There was one. Some there was people a, win it though. Yeah, That's the whole there, thing. There was some a point win. in time. Actually, I was in college. Also, yeah. like freshman year of college, and I started. Uh, I like read the book, um, The Secret, which is like about the law of attraction, mm. and. Uh, it was a saying like, if you just believe shit, you can get it done. And I was like, I'm gonna use this to win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I will win. <laughs> you found out the secret. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I was like, no one knows about this. <laughs> <laughs> Sold millions of copies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. well, you know, like uh, actually, that was like um, the rise of Conor McGregor too. And Conor McGregor also talked about the secret and like the law of attraction. And then he was saying like how like he would practice like. He would imagine there was a parking spot there, and then there would be a parking spot. I was like, I'm gonna be just. That's a pretty like mundane way to use that power. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta practice. Parking spot. You, you gotta you gotta spot. start off small. Holy shit, it works! <coughs> Apparently, you have to start off small. You believe in this mumbo jumbo? I do not. There you go. So I fucking smart hat so people. <laughs> I decided that I was gonna use the secret to win the lottery, Did and you win? Uh, I never won. Oh, I won. Actually, I've won before, but it's like. Ten dollars after I've spent like oh, what's fifty your bucks. Net, on what's like, your net? I'm definitely net loss. Okay. Well. Yeah, yeah. I've never won anything substantial with the lottery, and then I just completely. It was like maybe a month. I decided that like once a week or something. I was Cryptocurrency. Try to do it. What, what are your about thoughts? Crypto? Yes Dude. or no? Yes. Bitcoin. Yes or no? Yes. I mean, yeah, at the right time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Crypto in general. Yes or no? What are you talking about? Like, what does that even mean? I'm asking you. Like yes all, no. I think I think yes only, only no. the bit, only the two coin. There's only a couple coins that you should be investing in. Bitcoin, and this is Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, this is not this is not investment uh, investment advice. advice just yeah. so <laughs> this is yeah. the simple man podcast. We are yeah. simple men. Yes, definitely never take advice from us except unless for it right first, now. Yeah. No, no, I know. Really. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? What did he say? Wait, what? You said uh, definitely it, never take. Advice yeah, except uh, if we're we're sponsoring somebody. If it's an ad, if we tell you, there you go. If we tell you buy something. Get after it because it's good shit. Except but. for the past five whatever seconds. seconds yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I think if you're uh, if you're smart, everything's good. Everything is good. Yeah. You guys uh, see fucking what is it? SVB. SVB. Uh, Silicon Valley Bank. No, what's that? Oh, I did hear. About yeah, that. it's fucking. It's like the Informals. second largest. Uh, so just a bank just uh, went Full under. Closed. Yeah. Foreclosed, <laughs> so that means <laughs> yeah. Foreclosed, I don't know. Foreclosed, couldn't afford the mortgage. <laughs> oh yeah, wrong word. Uh, yeah. It went under the ocean. Yeah, yeah, uh, um, yeah. It went under fucking uh, and like something. So like, there's something called FDIC, which is like uh, just insurance. If you keep your money in a bank, and it's usually up to 250k that it's insured up to. But mm-hmm. it was like apparently like 90 something percent of that of people's money in there wasn't insured and like mm. a bunch of people lost their money. I don't know. It's like the second largest uh, bank failure since uh, like the 2008 uh, crash. Yeah, yeah. So, so did another bank buy it or just completely like cause so, uh, sometimes fuck, banks like well usually like, the government bails it out. I don't know what the fuck's happening. This is a good time for simple man to absorb them. Maybe we can <laughs> we, we'll reallocate some assets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much do these cost again? <laughs> <laughs> well we got Can we, we trade these for okay, a let, bank? let's maybe we'll sell like the eight grand worth How of much thing? you got on your wallet? <laughs> <laughs> we combine pool our resources and buy a bank? <laughs> you Hello, a how much for your bank? <laughs> we go in there. <laughs> fucking idiots. But uh, yeah, so it all, it all starts with affirmations. You we see yourself walking in that bag, attraction. owning it. And well, good. that's that's a secret. That's a secret. Well, that's it's not a secret sorry, anymore. Now I didn't mean to no, tell it. That's that's the uh, that's the law of attraction. Do you guys visualize before? Um, yes. I do think that I do. There's, there's, yeah, there's, there's some truth to that. <laughs> I visualize <laughs> around like this. everything. Everything. <laughs> I visualize myself <laughs> not stubbing my toe. Yeah, I take long blinks and visualize start my yeah, day. Yeah, every every blink I'm yeah. visualizing. 
but yeah, um, I, I do, I do think I there's do. some truth to that. Like, yeah. um, I, I would do it before even like realizing I was doing it. Like when I first started competing, I would just like imagine how it would go. And then I would sort of do that more and more. I like imagine I, getting into a situation where I, I, it's good for me or bad for me, what I would do if it's bad for me, how I would win. How, and I like, look at my opponent like later on and so start no more. I have like it. a little um, kind of like theory behind this. So like I think visualization is super important, but I don't think I think a lot of people that think visualization think about it as in like the secret. They're like, I'm just going to think I'm going to win and then I'm going to win. But it's like I think you, you have to use visual visualization. It's like or right, if he hits me or if he goes with this move, I'm going to do this or like he's, he's going to come out and collar tie. I'm going to grab this collar tie here. I'm going to peel the collar tie off here. And like that's visual visualization that like will help I feel you like out. Everyone has their own way of visualizing. Like fair enough. Fair like enough. Play by I don't like play. to be like, too specific. I, I do that. Okay. I do that. What do you do? What do you do? Probably. Yeah. Just go out there and fuck them up. But Jay Rod was like, yeah, I you're, just, you're more like, you don't like to sort of walk it through play by play. You just kind of like, I don't know. You yeah. I mean, me I definitely had a, a bunch of matches where, I felt like I didn't have enough technique to be like super specific, so I would just like kind of do what I was be what I thought I was best at. So your um, visualization is just like don't think about what. Like you're what are you visualizing? Do. Well, I'm just visualizing me being in my best positions, and now the main difference is that I have a lot more a lot more positions that I'm really good at. So it's you know it's a bit more intuitive. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a bit more in depth in my visualization before less I, intuitive, only, more yeah, like strategic. Like first ADCC, plan. I was like, I can only be, beat these guys by be, being on top and and you know wrestling them. So, so it's so a more vague outline. Now it's more like precise. Like I'm gonna outside pass to this to that. And, yep. Yeah. And so I under I understand. I realize how many more options there are when grappling. So mm. now it causes for a longer uh, you know visualization point, period. Mickey, visualize uh, or no? Yeah, like <clears throat> if I'm in like in camp and I have a, a big match coming up, like um, a lot of times like <clears throat> we do like the same time limit as the matches that we have coming up. So like I'll visualize like coming out on the mats, like uh, fist bumping and then, you know, like just going out and like you would for when you compete, yeah. yeah. Mm. Do you guys think like, so let's say you have a 10 minute match or a 15 minute match and you set the timer accordingly. I think we should have a timer. What? What? Yeah, we should. <laughs> we definitely should. It's alternate times. Alternate. Yeah, yeah. But do you do you guys like pace yourself accordingly or do you like just go and get yourself tired so that you can ramp up the pace like you know, John used to do uh, after training. He forced us to do like a like a fifteen minute uh, WNO yeah, rules yeah. match, and like we just did an hour and a half of hard drilling, and then you know, your pace is forty six minute, yeah, and then four, 40, six rounds of like you know forty five yeah. like forty five minutes of training, and then we have this fifteen minutes fucking gr grudge match. And I think that builds a lot of character, and that that make it so like when you're in deep in, in a fifteen minute match, you're like. I've I've been this tired before. I know what it is. Yeah. You know the one time, do you remember yeah. before the Sapatero <laughs> and we were doing EBI overtime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that honestly really helped me out. I like, remember that, bro. Because I like, remember that's the first time we really understood like turning escapes and like overturning and. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. So I remember I had, that really well. Yeah, yeah you I were had, so pissed. Like, I was getting so like, mad. I was doing Sapatero. <laughs> yeah, because I had Sapatero coming up and. At the end, you know, if there's no subs, uh, I goes to eBay overtime. Obviously, Ethan uh, had won the the overtime, so like, he's one of the best guys in the world for that. The so best. we're we're doing our the best. We we did rounds every day, just getting better at this fucking thing. And like, I remember you were like harder to hold on to by the day. Like it was a it, clear. It, it, got fucking it was good. so good. It reminded me of remember when it was just me, you, Gordon, and Craig in COVID times. And that's when I was preparing for that tournament. EBI overtime. EBI overtime. Yeah. And I would only do overtime rounds because it was for the tournament. Also, you guys all were enormous. And I was like, you know, I may as well just stay there. It's safer. I remember being better by the week. Like I would be like, mm -hmm. holding, I can actually hold on or escape a little, uh, you know, escape a little faster, hold on a little longer. And it, this, uh, it was this, like that. It was like, sorry. It was like the, the same thing. Like you would immediately, cause it's such a niche position and you put yourself so much time over, over, and over, over and over and over and the techniques, like what I, what I say helps, but like what it's so, it's so much feel like you time changing direction mm -hmm. and you reach over and grab the head and turn and spit. It's so much feel because it's such a niche 
position that like you you get better at it way faster because you're just highlighting that one spot over yeah, and over. Yeah. So. This shows you how in, how important it is, like what you train specifically right before you compete. Yes. Like like what that, parts you sharpen up on. Yeah. Yes. You yes. can get way better at one thing in like a week's time with our because we know already we have a base. So like if we just focus on one thing, it's gonna sharpen up. Whereas if you're like a beginner, fuck, you have to like learn the thing first. Yeah. It's not it's gonna take you longer than a week, you know? Yeah. So Sure. With our extremely extraordinary high level of thinking, we can do those things. Yeah. What would you say your best position is now, today? Where's like one, one For place? What? Like, in a match, you're like, I want to be here. I, I would mean, say, I'm on guessing. Someone's on someone's back. On so okay, well, let, less less advantageous. So like, maybe your best, best, no, your best no, defensive. No, that's why I'm asking. Your best like, defensive yeah. position. Best defensive position? Yeah. Where th somebody would think, oh, I'm winning, but really, you're fucking killer there. Like, for me, probably Turtle. I'm the shit from bottom Turtle. Yeah. I'm even better from top. Um, <laughs> <laughs> twice as good from top. Yeah. Uh, for me, it'd probably be when people enter my legs. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, that's a fair yeah. one. Wait, you're like, fuck yeah, I'm going to take your back. Yeah, I'm going to exactly. submit you from here. Yeah, take your you, back, counter leg lock, yeah. The, the bottom turtle thing <laughs> was funny. I'm the shit from bottom <laughs> turtle. I mean, that's, maybe, you know. I mean, no, no, look, no, I'm not saying it's like college. I just thought it was funny. Bro, oh, my God. Whoa. You, you guys see Spencer Lee versus. Oh! Yeah. Yo. He got pinned. Wow. Dude, that was what crazy. What a fucking sick Mo, match. What's that, Matt Ramos? Ramos? No. Yeah, Matt Ramos. Saw, Ramos. Ramos. Matt Ramos. Ramos. Oh, oh. Holy guacamole. That was, that guy. <laughs> I wonder that's if that's time, the first, I wonder <laughs> if that's the, yeah. I wonder if that's the first time they wrestled or they wrestled in Big, uh, Big Tens prior to that. They, I saw I like on, had on his before, Instagram, no? uh, Matt Ramos, that there was a picture of him on the podium with, he was third and Spencer was first. Does that mean? It depends what side of the bracket yeah, he's on. Yeah. Uh, you say you can't know. Yeah, I can't know. Okay. Now let's go back and just look it up. Look it up, yeah. I haven't done that yet, so I don't know. <laughs> but dude, that's <laughs> I didn't so go that far. I was like, you said you can't know. That's so impressive. It's crazy yeah. impressive. But the thing is, it's it's like Spencer Lee, no ACL, is, no ACL. Yeah, Spencer Lee, no ACL. And it is me. it is impressive, but he, dude, neither he's still like the fourth I think he got seed. Surgery. So it's like it no, was a big upset, but it's like yes. the guy was still a fourth seed too. But it's like obviously Spencer Lee, Spencer Lee. Yeah, but bro, four to one, huge huge difference. Number one guys are fucked. It's like it's like wow. number four guy to RBY, like different world. Really. Did, was RBY competing as well? How, what's yeah, he? I think he's in the finals. Okay, versus anyone like notable or? Uh, I think Dayton Fix. He's such a beast, man. He's such RBY, a beast. I think yeah. it's Dayton Fix. Whoa, that's sick. Yeah. Wait, that's sick. I don't think fix. so. I oh think, no, uh, somebody I that looks Dayton like Dayton is like fighting for third or something. Oh, for third, yeah. I think so. Oh, I think I remember seeing that. They're saying wait. I think he actually might have lost. I think he came fourth or something. I think wow. they already had shit. upsets, man. Yeah, you know, COVID, COVID Crazy. did a lot of things. Shakes lot of people, it up. Yeah, yeah. Because they give everybody another year to get better, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some people thrive. Some people like need the constant yeah. feedback of competing. Or, and if you um, do it right, you could probably get like an extra because you get a red shirt year. So if what you what is that red shirt? I've heard this like an Olympic red shirt. Yeah, so you could uh, compete uh, unattached to your team. So like in open in open tournaments that like if you're on Penn State's team, if Penn State does it, you can compete in the same tournament. But you can't do like a home duel or NCAA's under Penn State. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, um, so you can get a whole year of training and competing, getting better because of COVID. You get you probably get extra two. You get two years. So, so these guys, like you know, some of the best wrestlers like in in the country, right? NCAA's. Yep. How do they stack up in like the world? Are they? I think it's they like stack up pretty high. I think Oli level. Olympics. I think they're right there. I think if you're, I don't know, if you're top in the U.S. or Russia, you're. Arguably, gonna be very good Olympic level. I've heard it was well. Like, there's you know, a there's a few there's a few people that translate well. Like obviously, uh, Gable Stevenson and Gable multiple Stevenson. time NCAA. And What's that? That other guy's name? Uh, he he, <clears throat> he wrestled for Iowa. I mean, all of our best guys have done an NCAA. All of our best guys that won um, Olympic gold medal have been NCAA champs as well. It's a good translation. There's but how many of those NCAA? champs have become olympic level because obviously the olympic level coming Depends. up in the u.s they've had to i don't think many of them want to i think only the guys that are like oh i won this three times i'm gonna go uh see if i can get that gold medal level yeah hmm. how is richie lewis in the world uh right because i know he won worlds before or you, under 23 freestyle I, world champ or something like that i, I, I i'm really not sure i mean i don't know anything about wrestling is the thing yeah R richie's really good but i don't know if he's like top 10 like in in uh mm. like rby you think at his weight class he'd be able to hold his own like 
it's in, different style it's hard too. to say yeah it's a whole a different rule set, set, set yeah. Yeah. Folk, folk style Nolf translate different. pretty well too how did, how did Nolf did Nolf Nolf won uh, uh, NCAAs yeah and yeah. He, three times okay yeah. three times and then he how did he do at the world world level uh, what? I don't know yeah he lost in the Olympic uh, trials, trials to Dake I believe I believe he got teched by Dake Kyle Dake oh. wow yeah I, got he, I think he got teched in like 15 seconds or something like that. Oh, yeah. wow. Levels, bro. Shit. Dude. And Dake, yeah. Dake uh, didn't was, win, right? Dake. No, no, Dake beat uh, Jordan Burroughs that year. Oh, f- yeah. wait, what? In the Olympics? In the Olympic trials, oh, yeah. No, was, no, that, no. was that this? Was then, that uh, recently? The last Olympics. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Holy shit, yeah. I forgot about that. that but was, then yeah. in, in the Olympics, Dake... Dake uh, ended up placing third, I think. Yeah, he, he lost. Oh, yeah. He lost to that, that Azer, Iranian dude? or, or uh, I think Azerbaijan... Oh, okay. I don't yeah. know. I don't know enough. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I, don't know about it. I don't know enough well. about the names. But it's yeah. crazy. There's definitely um, levels. Yeah. Oh, man. There was another smaller guy um, from the U.S. that also placed third. Do you guys remember his name? From Iowa? We're talk- can I Google it? Yeah. I swear I know. I think I know who you're talking about. Kyle got, Kyle Snyder won year. Olympics at Olympic gold at like 18, 19, 19, something like that. It's crazy. But now, do you think it's like, do you guys think it's it's um similar to striking where it's like it, they're, they're, everyone can be really good, but there's still like that boxer's chance. Like, can, is there like a boxer's chance of getting pinned? Like like Matt Ramos and, and fucking Spencer Lee, like that? Yeah, re- wrestling re- wrestling sharp like that where like if one mistake because because uh, we have things like uh, I think a five-point throw like in the match or something like that, but um. Yeah, you can always get pinned, bro. Right, like there is that that like uh, there is a puncher's sure. chance every now and then, right? It's like t- you you roll in a uh Armani or M and R roll. Oh, Armani, Armani <laughs> roll, <laughs> <laughs> so swagged out. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, I think it's a lot harder to get like in jujitsu. You can still get caught. To be honest, yeah, that that is a thing for sure. Yeah, yeah, you you, there like, is still that. It's just it's just a slower game. It is a, usually wrestling's a, a faster paced game, so it happens quicker. Yeah, yeah. So that's why like, the faster paced games, like I've, yeah, definitely. Um, you see those those catches. So it's like that's why striking. There's still that puncher's change because it's a faster pace. Wrestling's a faster pace. I think sixty six and seventy seven. You'll probably see the most kind of like upsets usually because it's usually a faster paced uh, style mm-hmm. and anyway. But um, what was I even saying? How you wish you were faster. Too fast. No, but basically, um, why didn't you wrestle growing up? I did. I just didn't wrestle at a. I wrestled recreationally. Like it was a uh, rec league for my township, and how I old? Put, like third grade or whatever. But um, the guys like third through like sixth or seventh grade. But uh, I wrestled in the season. Thomas I didn't Gilman. wrestle. Yes, that's Thomas Gilman. Oh, what? Gilman, Gilman. Thomas yeah, Gilman. Yeah, yeah. yeah he also He's... placed third, I believe, mm. at the Olympics. Fifty-seven yeah, kg. So... Seth Gross. That's so hard to do. Yanni Diaco, yeah. Zane Rutherford, uh, Penn State Zane. guy, I think. Kyle Dake, Jordan Burroughs. Oh, Jordan was a weight class higher. David Taylor, Jaden Cox. Mm. Dude, I think Jaden Cox. So circling back, defeat. I think like uh, NCAA guys are not far. They just have to change up their style strategy. Yeah. And they're right there at Olympic. I think like USA, if you if you're top in the US and you're top in Russia, you're you have uh, isn't like Iran potential. like very good I- Iran. There's for That's sure other good, countries yeah. I don't know. Like I'm not the expert, you know. Yeah. But I think those two definitely for sure. If you're you trained with Jaden you know, Cox? I did. Yeah. How yeah. was that? Fuck it. We had, there was one point where he sh- where he shot in on me. I sprawled, and he. You know, John Cena has like a fu, like he picks him up on the shoulders. I saw like that. that highlight. Yeah, yeah. He pretty sick. much stood up with me and like helicopter, he- like helicopters. <laughs> <Helicopter's laughs> <insane. laughs> You're like, <laughs> dude, dude. Yeah, really. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I mean, I I did good. Pretty much the wrestling, he won. And I was able to take him down with like you know body lock and put him down like once or twice. But oh, you got him um, down with a body lock. With body lock, okay, yeah. Wow, I get to like wow. underhook body lock, but um. Uh, definitely gave me confidence in some sections. Uh, especially like the scramble, like, um, because they only do like wrestling to the ground, and then yeah, they there's, no, they there's no mat up. wrestling. There's yeah. no mat wrestling. No mat yeah, wrestling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think like, so again, like Jaden, what Jaden won NCAA a multiple bunch of times. times yep. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So like, dude, winning multiple times, crazy. Holy yeah. shit, it's crazy. It's like I feel like in in Japan, if you win judo nationals in Japan, you're 
You're going God. to win the Olympics, probably yeah. harder to win within Japan. I, these guys, I these think. guys have been winning since like because there's a young limited age. amount of they're, people, right? On yeah, there's a limited Fuck. amount. So you have to you have to make the Olympic team. So wow. I think there, there's like you, yeah, they've been and, dominating and that the sport toughest for toughest fucking bro. It's that's crazy. They train them since they're like little fetuses. That's kind of fetus. how I see trials a little bit. Some way, some of the weight classes like. There's a lot of st- now. Granted, it's not fully like ADCC, but it's like oh. North American trials. There's it's a stacked bracket in some of the weight classes versus like the this whole past ADCC. A lot of trials winners won, right? Did well. Sixty six trials winner won. Seventy seven trials winner won. Eighty eight yeah. trials winner won. Giancarlo. Giancarlo. Won. Yeah. Trials winner won. Ninety nine minus ninety nine. Who won minus ninety nine? Uh, uh, Kainen. Kainen. Yeah. Kainen. Not a trials winner. Nine plus, not a trials winner. Not a lot, not a trials winner. Yeah, uh, that's still that's a lot of trials winners. I don't think that's. Hey, I don't know if that's all the girls. Girls, girls still winning. I think one of the women's. chicks that won. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Trials winners. Come on, you know the facts. <laughs> I know them. Come do you know on. them? I have no. I think do you know <laughs> who? Yeah, who 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 did the women's trial? Or uh, women's? Yes, business. something compo, right? Um, you're talking about one eighty cc, or trials or not trials winner? Oh, Brianna. Brie Saint Marie won. Yeah, Brie Saint Marie. Well, she didn't trials, win gold, but yeah. she won. Uh, I think silver. Who she lose to? Fionn? No. Uh, yes. Yeah, she lost yes. to Fionn. Yeah, in the uh, Fionn did trials or yeah. was invited. Fionn's invited. Okay. I think. Yeah. I'm... No, bro. Brie Saint Marie and Fionn just got submitted. Oh, Polaris. Yeah. By whom? I don't know. I don't oh, know. But yeah, uh, they just got recently Fionn submitted. Fionn got submitted by Elizabeth Clay, I think, right? Ooh, wow. That could have been. I think so. I think so. she got Maybe finished toe sub, in a toe toe hold hold? I heard by Elizabeth Clay. I didn't watch it, but I cool. heard that. And yeah. then Brie St. Marie got submitted, too. I by whomst? I don't know. Oh, yeah. She got submitted by Amy Campo, I think. Wow. Oh, is that the... No, never mind. I think. Well, didn't Campo win trials and ADCC? I don't think so. No. Got a fact check. I don't know. IDK as well. I do not know. Well, that's a cool mug. Is that a pig? Is that a pig? Pig for the pig. pig. It's obviously domesticated. (laughs) Because it's it's a pig. You remember when we came across that pink pig in Puerto Rico? We were like eating one time. Oh, dude, there was this. Yeah, this. Fat ass pig, with a big old <laughs> pop belly. He's yeah. like, it's like six. somebody's six, pig, somebody's like yeah, yeah. six inch legs. Uh, belly's like a fucking f- inch off the ground, it's just yeah. dragging. Yeah, but but <laughs> huge, huge, huge yeah, ass yeah, pig. Yeah. Must have been two hundred fifty pounds. If, like no. it was like Dude, fucking humans. crazy, humans. just no. big ass fucking pig. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> yes, it was. Stop <laughs> saying no. <laughs> Uh, I forget what we had. Were you there when when we tried to get Mike Jones to do something? Yep, yep. He's trying to like. uh like, just yeah, somebody's pig. Got to go. Well, get we t- it. I think we told him to sit on it, and he like get a little <laughs> bit closer and stare at him, give him like a, a little. Yeah, he was like, "Yeah, I'm not going over there." Not going Mike there. Jones. Mike man. Jones. Yeah, Dude, awesome. he's, he's a scrapper, like, man. He is, yeah, he's a yeah. fucking savage of a striker. Oh uh, yeah, six but striker, one of like yeah. the nicest guys like yeah, you could yeah. ever meet. Like fucking just smiles. Does he does he train jujitsu often? I think oh, he trains up at TriStar yeah. all the time. I yeah. think all he's taking time, yeah. a little bit of a break. I think so. I haven't. I mean, I haven't like seen him uh, fight as often as he was. He was doing like Muay Thai fights, boxing shows, like very. I often. know he has a lot of like striking fights. A lot of experience. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's crazy. he's fucking. They're gonna. Uh, in the day. I, hopefully, it it happens by like soon. I think hopefully by May or something. But they're gonna start doing uh, grappling shows? grappling events and shows in Montreal again. Finally, yeah, that would be cool. But like, what grappling shows are gonna be big? They're. I mean, they well, were. You try they to start were one, start really. One. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the plan. Eventually, they. You want to start? You know, they were. You start I would one? love to. Yeah, Montreal. Dude. They they were getting so big so fast before really? they were uh, illegalized. Yeah, dude, they were. Bro, we there just, was like illegalized is a word. You just say you start your they own were event. Illegalized. Yeah, it was like prohibited. Illegalized. Did you say start your own event? Yeah, yeah. Yo, start your own event. We should do that. We should. Simple, um, simple and grappling. The simple show. I don't the simple know. show. <laughs> we'll think of it. We'll simply grapple. Simply grappling. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have that on my plate actually. I like anyway, I'm. That's gonna be so sick. I'm a, like, I want to compete in Montreal again. That'll be. You need to have like your friends and family come yeah, watch yeah. you. I have yeah. a, a lot of friends up there. Yeah, you'd be surprised. So Same. many, Same. <laughs> like so many. You guys don't have many friends that come visit, huh? You guys are all Is here. I've had some friends that come visit here. You do? Oh, I've yeah. never. I, I've heard about your friends. I've never met them. Yeah, they exist. Yeah, they go to another school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we they were talking about this before. Um, your friend, your main friends are just friends like on the team, huh? 
Like ju- through jiu-jitsu? Are we well, your best friends? Yeah, yes for, or no? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Who Thank is you. your best friend? Yeah, out of <laughs> us three right now, go. <laughs> Me. Well, I think I spend the most time with Ethan. Because you guys, because we work out exactly. We fuck you guys work scared out. to work out. You guys scared to work out. Lazy. With. Mm. You came once. You came. I, twice. I, you came I once for the cameras. The Nikki came once and he's like fucking tree These mold. guys, mm. these guys do a fucking ten minute bike session. Okay, I'm out there fighting guys. Uh, at Amber's my name's Damien. I'm tougher me. than you because okay. I fight. Yeah. Oh, we you think you're, you think you're better than us? Sport. You guys saying I'm I'm scared of the workout. Come fight at Amber's Muay Thai. I don't Come. do it anymore. Nope. Because <laughs> I'm terrified now. <laughs> it hurts. It broke my nose. <laughs> no, but okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So Ethan's your best friend. Yeah. He's what's my his? We cut that. No, no, I have another best friend. <laughs> what? Um, let's see. I don't know. I want. I want. Tell me a fun fact about Nicky Rod that we wouldn't know as his best friend. Nicky Rod's favorite color is green. No, we know we, <laughs> we just we just went over that Don't because of the know. mic. Yeah. We went over this because of the mic. Dickie no, but Rod. but you guys, I've never seen. Actually, you said one friend. You, I've never I've never seen one of your childhood friends. Your main. Your yeah, main I have like jiu-jitsu. zero friends outside of jiu-jitsu. <laughs> yeah. Someone out there who thinks he's Nikki's friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man. <laughs> probably <laughs> always Scrawny Ronnie's like Scrawny yeah. Ronnie's yeah, like. What yeah, the I guess fuck, he's, man? Yeah. He's what one the guy, fuck, yeah. man? Scrawny Ronnie. So, man, so I've actually, heard about, so, I've never met him. I've only heard him laugh hysterically at this. I'm one of Nikki's closest friends. Right. I see him every day. There is another man, another two guys we'd say. Ronnie, Scrawny Ronnie, and Connor are his <laughs> Connor? video games, Connor. video game friends that he plays with probably eight hours a day. Spends more time with them than any of us. Cracks <laughs> up. Is yeah. is like the most. He's the loudest. He's Bro. the angriest. He's the happiest <laughs> I've ever seen him on Apex Legends yeah. talking to these guys. You want to hear Nikki cry from laughter? Just it's yeah. yeah. That's, it's that's a twitch. The time. You would know. you, you, you really you'd be rich, bro. You really I know. Sean O'Malley makes some good money. Uh, I, like, uh, yeah, I wonder how well like the MMA fighters that stream do. I think, um, dude, Mighty Mouse does it. I think he gets a lot of views. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mighty Mouse definitely does. Is Twitch uh, is it, is the revenue based on like subscribers? Uh, or so there's gifts or something. Um, yeah, so you can either like just like donate money, which if you donate like a hundred, I'm pretty sure a hundred percent of it goes straight to you. Okay. Uh, and they also have uh, monthly subscribers. I think it's like five bucks a month, and I think Twitch gets half, and uh, you get the other half. Unless, right. yeah, unless you're partnered with Twitch, then I think it's like three dollars and two dollars. Okay, you get a little more. All right. Yeah. I mean, if you get like. Fifty thousand is that like a reasonable? Your your name fifty thousand subscribers is a shit ton. Is a lot. Okay, what's like a normal? I mean, what's like you're, like if you're if you have fifty thousand, you're partnered with Twitch, you're making one hundred and fifty grand. Yeah, that's a insane. month. Okay, so that's like way too a month. All right, yeah. so wait, what, how, what is, how do they, how do they make money? Uh, through d- like donations and subscribers. So oh, yeah, you charge for, for a subscription, I guess. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Like, so like you pay dollars. for like a yeah, yeah subscription. Five, five so it's five bucks. Um, and then you don't have to watch any ads or anything. That's another thing too. Is like uh, ad time. Ad revenue. Um, yeah. So they get paid off of that. Um, and Twitch is like assholes with their ads, dude. You'll watch like five minutes of ads in a row. It's so annoying. Oh, shit. But um, it yeah. Incentivizes this. So yeah, it incentivizes. Yeah, yeah this. So you bucks. get you get the cha- is it five bucks for everybody or you get the cha- change of price? No, it's five dollars. Yeah, for everyone. Um, and then yeah, I think if you're like not partnered with Twitch, uh, it's like two fifty, two fifty. And if you're partnered with Twitch, it's like three dollars. Wait, how do you get oh, partnered wow. with Twitch? What it? What? Uh, I think you have to. I'm not exactly sure, but you probably have to have like a certain amount of followers, or if you pull in a certain oh, amount of viewers or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Why don't you do yeah. it? It says the okay. fucking N word. <laughs> no, 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 that's no, no. why. I don't he say makes the N word. No, he no, makes no. fun he of that. Scotty Ronnie no. is a six foot six black man, like myself. <laughs> he just makes fun of him for being fat and black. That's why. That's oh, why. Guys, He's like, I don't, I can't. I can't twitch because I can't say these things. <laughs> and that's the fun of video games. <laughs> man, Faraz got. Uh, Faraz has like a. YouTube channel, or sometimes he does podcasts and stuff. Okay. And he got uh, he got trolled. I don't think he he knows. I, he'll never watch this podcast, so it's fine <laughs> until we clip it and no. then we go viral. <laughs> so he uh, he he gets shout outs, right? So someone paid for his son Nick Rowe to be <laughs> shout out. Oh. So he's like shout out Nick Rowe, Nick Rowe, shout out. Do you guys get it? <laughs> yes, I get it. Yes. Okay, yes. There no. we go. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna. I don't get it. You don't get it. 
I don't know if he's joking. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, joking, joking. He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure, whatever, bro. Next <laughs> topic. Anyway, so he got, he got trolled. Say, can you say it three times fast? No, I cannot. Uh, the Man. old Twitcheroo. You guys play video games? I, I've been getting on the little Warzone a little bit. Helps my brain neurons work a little bit better. Now rounds. No rounds. Neurons. Yeah. They sound like no, no run. Neur- save the children. <laughs> <laughs> run. They're coming through the back door. They're coming through the back door. Neurons. You, you, you just got a. An I just got an Xbox. Yeah, I don't. I st- I was like playing it a, a bit, and, and you then, stopped. Uh, I stopped a little bit, but I'm gonna yeah. Start again, you know, I, I used to play video games, but I, I literally, I I cannot keep it out because I think I just get addicted. I never, I didn't grow up with them, so I never, like, all my friends had them growing up. I never had them growing up, so I never, like, Group did the them streets. as much. And I was, yeah, I'll go up in the streets. Nikki, and, uh, when when yeah. did you get addicted to uh, video games? Oh, I've been playing video games since I was, like, five, six years old. What was the oh, first yeah. one? Uh, first one I remember playing was probably Halo 2. Ah, Halo. That's a good game right there. Yeah. 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 Halo 2 and Halo 3. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting through. Liam Liam told me to download all the Halos and play them one by one. One, um, one two, three? Remember. Or three, two, one? Uh, no, well, yeah, one, two, three. Okay, okay. And then the other ones after that. Yeah. I, think I, I don't even remember. that. I, I played one of the Halos. I don't know which one it was, but I never, I don't even think I got through the campaign. Uh, I think one of my first video games was the the first, the early on Nintendo, and it was like a, some kind of boating game. It's like You guys ever played Crash uh, Bandicoot? Yeah. I used no. to play that on like PlayStation Something. That. You should play like Tekken. You guys ever played Pokemon on the Game Boy? Game Boy. Game Boy. Yeah, I had okay. some Game Boy games. I don't remember that them that much though. I, I was like so Pokemon. young. But uh, PlayStation was was my shit. I used to play Madden a bunch actually as a kid, and then as I got older, I played like uh, Call of Duty. I loved Call of Duty. Uh, I always sucked because I never got to play, and all my friends would always play, and then when we would play, they had like. So, so much, much practice. Kids. I'm like, man, yeah. fuck this. How how do I get good at this without practicing? <laughs> yeah, Dude, anyway. Some of these guys go fucking crazy. Yeah, like this guy. Yeah, like fucking Nikki. Too good, man. Slow it down. All we right. done? Yeah, should we wrap this up? Yeah, I'll wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Nikki Ryan, for coming. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks very much, Nikki no no Ryan. Yes. All right, I'm Nikki Ryan. Thanks for watching. I'm Damian Anderson. Ethan Crellinston, Nikki Ryan, and you been have simplified. been simplified. Simp- Spell simplified, Nikki Rod. S i m p l f i e d. Simplified. Simplified. Close enough. We'll take it. We'll take it. Cut. <laughs>